Hi, I want to talk to you today about the book Ordinary Girls by Jakira Diaz. So this is a memoir, which means it's nonfiction, and it is following our author's life story. So she was born in Puerto Rico and in elementary school, she moved to Miami, Florida, and she spent a lot of time um, in this memoir trying to kind of get back to who she was, where she was born, and then just kind of who she became um, based on her experiences with her friends and family. Uh, so one of the quotes on the front of this book really kind of sums it up. Um, this is from Julia Alvarez, who says, there's more life packed on each page of ordinary girls than some lives hold in a lifetime. Uh, and I really think that is an amazing quote to put on the front because she goes through so much in her life. Um, she has a family that suffers with mental health issues and addiction. Uh, she also is really not wanted by either her mother and father for a good portion of her life and just feels lost there. She tries to grab onto people around her to feel love and support and feel like she's a part of something uh, and spends a lot of her life trying to figure that out. Uh, she is very honest in the way that she writes about all of her experiences and what happens. And she titles it Ordinary Girls because that's really and what she wanted to be her whole life is just some ordinary girl. Uh, and she also realizes that that's kind of a privilege to have that role. And she honors that and kind of pays tribute to that in the way that she's talking about her life and her experiences. Um, so if you are interested in memoir, in um, family stories, in mental health struggles, in uh, issues of addiction, this is a great memoir to read and to really get into learning about one person's experience through all of that. So I recommend Ordinary Girls by Jakira Diaz as your next read.